I'm Dr. Abbasi, and we have a very special guest. Um, Dr. Amir Sharif is a very accomplished surgeon, has been training practically on three continents. Um, uh, he's from my home country, Iran, and we are going to talk about some of the education in Iran. He has then traveled to Germany. He's currently practicing in a high-level spine practice in Germany, close to Hamburg. Who doesn't know Hamburg? And, uh, and recently we were there and we were uh, really amazed by the, the level of the efficiency they bring to spine surgery right where they, he's practicing. But he has been traveling now to US just less than almost a month later, exactly. coming and visiting for us. Well, welcome Amir thank to, you. To, our, to our humble uh, the, the, the den of surgeons. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate your invitation. I uh, thank you guys a lot that you organize everything so fast. So that was a um, that that was pretty uh, cool workshop that we had that yeah. we had you guys over there. That was third of July in Hamburg, and now in exactly less than um, one month, I'm here mm -hmm. and I enjoyed uh, your techniques in reality. Let, let's talk a little about how did how did you get to know us, Amir? Through LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. 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 Yeah, afterward we talked and uh, we we found something yeah. in common and then passed and we, we get connected. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but the first start of the first point of that was LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. No, and then you know we came to Hamburg and we, we really enjoyed that. Yeah, and uh, there, and uh, and then less than uh, probably six weeks or so, you're already here. Well, no, um, before we go about the education in different countries, let's talk about our educational effort that we have put in place you know, and we came there because um, you were interested yeah. to, for this technique and so on. Yeah. And then you came here today, yesterday, um, we actually, you know, the, um, 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 yesterday and today, we had this, uh, uh, these cases that we went through together yesterday. You saw those patients um, a year after the surgery, exactly. a few months after the surgery. I would like first, you know, have your experience about this because this is part of education. You are somebody who's never done with education and that I admire about, you know, many surgeons I meet, as soon as they leave the residency, their education is done. They have a tool mm -hmm. set for the rest of their career, they're set, that, that's all what yeah. they do. And then, you know, obviously when the time goes on, the expertise becomes behind the current of time but you are not one of them. You just going everywhere you, to learn new things. Exactly. And you're you're a, always a, you know, we have a saying in Persian. It's an old poem it says, "From the cradle to the grave, seek knowledge." Yeah. It's an old poem uh, that uh, from Sadia actually that says, "From the cradle when you are born until the grave when you are yeah. dying, always seek knowledge." And you are a true example of that. But yeah. let's talk about your experience yesterday and today. Well, tell me, you know, first of all, what motivates you to learn all the time? And what, what do you think, what, they, what was uh, they in the last few days you were with us? What do you think you learned? Um, so I have to tell, um, when I go with, uh, for something, I go all in. So, yeah. And now I'm um, seeking the word of uh, spine surgery. And for sure, nowadays, the minimal invasive surgery uh, is a hot topic. And I uh, started to look around, okay, what can I learn more? Mm -hmm. you know? um, and then we got to know each other. We started that. And I um, I saw so many videos. I, yeah, you know, It was like a click, okay, so that should be something. So uh, I saw oh, so many videos of you. And then we talked, we had so many video talks, video meetings with each other, and we could manage it that you, um, that was so kind of you guys that you spend your time and you came to Germany just for ed education. I have to appreciate it uh, now without any, um, uh, without any special financial interest, what we see in nowadays world. Yeah. So um, you guys came, came there and we had a great time and we learned a lot. So when I uh, saw that in Germany, what you're providing, I was so curious to find it, okay, uh, what is exactly in reality? 
And so I I use the, your kindness that you told me, Amir. You're any anytime you're uh, <laughs> welcome here. Yeah. So he I just it, uh, yeah yeah and, yeah and, and and it's really like it. So it's very good to be their guest here. So thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot, dear Amanda. Well, you we have. So, we it was built a concierge five star hotel just for people yeah, who are willing to learn. Just, just for you. Yeah. I you. All so, yeah. yeah. So um and then the good thing is that that we did this combination of two days, one day clinic that I could see patients. And um so I have to tell it honestly here. I just thought, okay, Hamid is uh just talking about surgeries. Maybe he's just, he's also one of the surgeons that he has always knife in hand. But I can tell you uh, yesterday, more than half of the patients, he was emphasizing and insisting on, please do the conservative therapy as much as you can, as much as till the time that is really the right time for surgery. And uh, he knows what he's talking about. And you were also um, insisting on um, please have a second opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that was so impressive for me that I liked a lot. And uh, I had the chance to see patients after one year surgery, after one month, this, the, and the patients, they are indicated to get that. And also for, uh, for SI joint and mm -hmm. for olive. Mm -hmm. So it was, I guess then, uh, it was, oh, I'm sorry, I switched to German. So yeah. <laughs> it was yesterday, very good opportunity for me for mm -hmm. that, because in the spine surgery, putting the in indication and the right time for surgery is really one of the most important part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I have done also trauma surgery in trauma surgery. So a patient is with broken bone there you have no other chance. Yep. Yeah, you have. You, you should get everything together. You should make it right. But um, in a spine surgery, as you know, yeah, you're a senior in that. So um, putting the indications was very special. And now today we did it practical. And I was so amazed. You know, the workshop that we had in Germany, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. But today I saw that in reality and the uh, operation that you have done for SI joint and also Olive, both of them, they were brilliant. I really congratulate that to you that you have done lots of effort for that and also for giving this information um, to junior surgeons like me. Yeah. yeah, you know, because nowadays, unfortunately, it's not completely like, it's not so like that. We don't see that my uh, seniors or mentors mm -hmm. like you to give it like that for free to the others. But it's yeah. very good to have you there. 